Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew and yesterday we installed um, Debian Stable and then updated it to Debian Testing and in the time uh, one day later um, Debian Testing came out with a new kernel. So yesterday the kernel was 5.17 and today it is 5.18. So just so that I'm clear. So I did an update again uh, in between videos, but I just wanted to put, uh, just make sure that everything is up to date and this is Debian testing. There you go. Okay. So what are we doing today? Um, what we're doing is we are installing a desktop environment. Most people are not um, going to be using a Windows tiling manager, uh, a tiling Windows, and like i3 or DWM or Qtile or anything like that. Now, it doesn't mean that we won't get to that in the future, but today I wanted to make sure that uh, we start off with something simple. Uh, even though it is not perfectly simple, it XFCE is to me my desktop environment of choice when it comes to older hardware. So not everybody has the, you know, the latest and greatest hardware, but XFCE really provides you with a light desktop environment. So there is ways to do that just manually, but what I've done is I've created a script for that. But what we need to do first is install git okay and after we do that the um, let me go ahead and, oh, the script that I wrote is at my github page so github.com slash drew griff slash um, Debian hyphen installers okay and we are going to go into the Debian installers directory and there is the XFCE uh, uh, shell script what I want to do is show you this shell script by going into nano and show you what's going to be installed okay and here is the first package xorg. Uh, then we're going to move quickly to build essential. If you are an AMD processor, you want the AMD microcode. I have it um, here for you. Just uncomment this line and then comment the Intel microcode line. The two uh, things that most people will install is XFCE4 and the XFCE4 goodies. I'm going to go ahead and install a browser, Firefox. There are a few things, and include, I just want to comment real quick. I know that there is some packages from the GFS, GVFS backends that gets installed automatically with XFCE, but not all the packages. So I want to make sure that, that all of the packages get installed and then um, I'm also installing a few other things. Pulse Audio is installed prior, but also Utils and the Volume Icon also is uh, not. NeoFetch, by the way, is already installed on this machine, so I don't actually need this. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that, uh, at least for this particular example. I install EXA. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually, well, I'll just leave it. It doesn't matter that much. And in order just to save some time, I'm going to go ahead and comment out the cups. And you know what? I'm going to leave Blues and Blue Man in because this machine does have uh, Bluetooth. And I'm going to leave uh, Bluetooth in as far as enabling it, but I'm going to uh, not enable cups. I'm going to go ahead and install Vim. And we're going to install some fonts. And when LightDM 
Uh, I would normally install Light DM, Light D DM GTK Greeter, but that gets installed with the XFCE group. The only thing that doesn't get installed is the Greeter settings package. Then I'm going to go ahead and enable Light DM, and then I'm going to give you an option to auto remove. Okay. And while we are, you know, doing this, I'm going to. Oh, by the way, Control O to save and control X okay and while we're doing this I want to make sure that you understand that um, there's going to be a ton of packages that install but this is just gonna be the very basic XFCE it's not going to be um, tricked out or anything like that and maybe we'll do some ricing in the future but what we need to do here is just, just get the oh, uh, the base package is installed. All right, so I went ahead and just started the script. And these are packages that are being pulled from the testing repository. Now, if you were uh, if you saw the previous video, it was about how to install uh, Debian testing by using the Debian stable uh, disk or installation method. So this is about as close as to a uh, rolling release as you can get with Debian. Um, like I said before, Debian stable is my my choice, um, but if you are living a little bit on the edge, <laughs> just slightly, not, not a huge amount. If you wanted to live seriously on the edge, you would install Debian unstable. Debian testing is pretty darn good when it comes to stability but um, you know, it, you know, by it'll break at times. Uh, I know that I've had problems with even connecting to a um, network drive because there was a bug in the uh, GVFS backends package that did not work well. So we'll see uh, how if there is going to be any type of like bugs um, in the testing that we install. I don't think there will be, honestly. So there's no going back here. I mean, I started, started, my, started this video because this is actual on real metal. This is not a virtual machine. Um, so there's no going back and doing this again unless I do the entire installation over again. Which wouldn't be terrible, but still. I know that was a little bit, it was really fast and you probably didn't see it, but um, GVFS backends was installed as part of XFCE. But then there's going to be more packages that get installed later. And there you go. And here's the question. Um, this is this is part of the script that was installed that says sudo apt auto remove. And after if you know giving you the choice, do you want to remove some of the packages? I don't see why not. So I'm just going to hit default enter, and it's removing some of the packages that are no longer needed. Okay. And so what we can do now is we can go ahead and reboot into the new XFCE4 
just desktop environment. And there you go. This is um, LightDM. And I'm going to go ahead and type my username and password. And there you have it. This is um, XFCE4. And just so we're aware, um, the packages, so XFCE4 has been, you know, continued to be maintained. Uh, I'll give you an example, okay? If I go and I open the XFCE4 terminal, okay, we're on version 1.0.4. Now, back if you were if you had Debian stable and installed XFCE4, um, the terminal would be 0 0.8.1 or two. I'm not sure exactly, but but 0 0.8. Okay. So just so you know that this is the latest and greatest when it comes to XFCE. And that is all for today. And afterward, we're going to be looking at how to make this a little, look a lot more current. All right, thanks a lot and bye.